about? What's all the griping about here? Are you kidding, Skip? You know darn well. Here we are in New Caledonia, and we can't budge off this boat. Yeah, we want to grab all the action. Hold that, hold that. Hold it. Now, you eight balls know the exact and specific orders we got from Captain Binghamton. While I am at the conference, all enlisted crew members will absolutely and positively be restricted to the confines of this boat. Right. And when we get exact and specific orders from Captain Binghamton, what do we do? We ignore them, that's what we do. <laughs> All hands, four hours liberty. Go on. Oh, relax, Chuck. What old lead bottom doesn't know won't hurt him. <laughs> hey, hey, you ain't balls. Don't forget, you'll be back here by 1300. And sober! You, you, you know what I'm Here we come, huh, Lester? Yeah, and stay out of trouble, too. Oh. Hey, Chuck, hang on, boy, hang on. Now, now easy, Dusty, I'll, I'll get you out. Hey, don't worry about me, Skip. Uh, just stop by the library and tell them I'll be a little late. <laughs> He's always dropping them, you know. Just, what do you want? What do you mean, bursting in here like that? I mean, I don't... Don't you ever knock? Are you some kind of a peeping Tom or something? What do you want? What is it? Why, 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 why? why? I'm sorry, sir, but this is a signal from Comfleet, sir. The weekly transport plane from New Caledonia has been grounded, sir, and they want us to send one of our boats over to pick up the base payroll. Oh, well, they do, do they? What do they think I am running here? Some sort of a South Seas Wells Fargo? I can't spare a boat from combat duty patrol. Sir, I realize that, but I thought since the 73 boat is in New Caledonia anyway, that they could just go over and pick Have up... Have you flipped? Do you think that I would entrust an entire base payroll to that bunch of thieves? Oh, sir, I know they're thieves, but, but hijacking a Navy payroll? Oh, sir, do you really think they dare? Dare? Would a starving man eat if you locked him in a candy factory all night with 62,000 chocolate-covered bonbons? <laughs> I am not going to let that bunch of money-hungry vultures get near the base payroll. And if you think I am, then you're... you're... Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right, Elroy. I am, sir. Oh, yes, this is beautiful, Elroy. Beautiful, beautiful. What a way to get rid of Mikhail and his mob forever. Sir, so you mean actually let them steal the base payroll? Uh huh. It's only going to be a paltry sixty-two thousand dollars. What's that to the Navy? I mean, they're rid of Mikhail. That's a bargain. <laughs> ingenious, absolutely ingenious, and I must say, sir, anyone who is such a brilliant strategist as yourself deserves to wear these. Let me help you. Shut up and stop apple polishing me. Get out of here. Get the 73 ball on the phone. Go, go. <laughs> Rear Admiral. <laughs> Mikhail out of the way. I may be chief of staff one of these days. <laughs> I thought you'd want me to put this in your file. I like to put you in my file under end for nitwit. Get out of here. Out, out, out. PT-73 from the base. PT-73 from the base. Come in. Oh, boy, it's a captain. Uh, uh, j just a minute, sir. Go ahead, sir. It's your nickel. Oh, it's my nickel. I'd a nickel you, you... 
Oh, what's the use? Has Mikhail left for that conference yet? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here all by myself, sir. Uh, I mean, I'm here with the men, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the men are all around me, sir. Isn't that right, men? Yes, sir. Oh, aye, yeah. aye. Right, Mr. Parker. Uh, hear him, sir? I also hear your brains rattling around. Now, you hear this, Parker. I've got a very important assignment for you. I want you to go over to the Naval Paymaster's office and pick up the base payroll on the double. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Uh, the base payroll? Isn't that a lot of money, sir? Of course it's a lot of money, you klutz. It's $62,000 in small bills, unmarked. The kind that couldn't very easily be traced if anything happened to them. Yes, sir. And you want me to pick it up? Right. I mean us. I mean uh, the man. Uh, That's exactly what I mean. And when you get that money, take great care with it. Uh, take the shortcut back to the 73. Uh, go down Saloon Row. Uh, down Saloon Row? Past the gambling casino. Uh, Just before you get to the racetrack. Just before the racetrack. Got it. Right, sir. Uh, you can count on me, sir. <laughs> I mean, us. I mean, uh, the man. Uh, isn't that right, man? Yes, sir. Aye, aye. Right, Mr. Parker. <laughs> Always agree with me, sir. Would you tell those men to shut up and quit talking? And have that one man get his throat looked into? Now you move out. On the double. Hubba hubba. Over and out. <clears throat> right. Hubba hubba. I mean, I'm, in, I'm over and out. Right. <clears throat> oh, boy. What a spot. $62,000 and me all alone. Oh, boy. He said hubba hubba. <laughs> Where are my gun? Let's go by the racetrack. with me, will you? Uh, smoke if you got him. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I thought I was hanging on to a thin lamppost. A lamppost? Oh, are you sure you are all right, monsieur? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean your, I didn't mean your leg looked like a lamppost. It was just that, uh, well, you... Hey, hey, the money, the payroll, where is it? Money, monsieur? Oh, has any of you seen this officer's money? No, no, no. we have seen nothing, monsieur, not even a sou. Uh, but, but you must have. I had it right here. It was in a canvas bag, and we were... Uh, uh, hey... You're lying. I can tell. You're all in this together. You are mistaken, monsieur, I assure you. Oh, now, wait a minute. Okay, everybody, nobody moves. Stand back or I'll shoot. Oh, shit. oh no, I'm wise. You're a little game. Sure, you got the money, and now you got to do away with me. Well, you better stand back, because I got a gun, and I'm a crack shot. All right. Do not be afraid, monsieur. We only wish to help you. No, I don't want your help. I don't want anybody's help. I just want my mother. So better yet, the skipper. Skipper! 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 $62,000. The whole payroll. 
Tell me you're kidding, Chuck. Please tell me you're kidding. Well, I wish I could, Skip, but when I came to, the money was gone, bag and all. Oh, brother, what are we going to tell Captain Bampton? Well, it's like my mother always said, fibbers never prosper. So I think we should just tell him the truth. Are you kidding, Mr. Parker? He'll never believe us. He'll accuse us all of swiping it. Oh, oh all, right, all right, all right, all right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's only one way out of this mess. We got to get that dough back and fast. Sure. So what we need is facts. Now tell me, when you came to... What was the first thing you saw? A girl's ankle. A girl's <laughs> A girl's ankle? How do you like that? He loses 62 grand and all he can think of is a dame. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it, dude, hold it. Now, if that girl was close enough to him, she could have seen who took the door, right? Right. Or she could have taken the door herself, huh? Hey, hey, how about that now, Mr. Parker? Do you remember what she looked like? Yeah. Tell us. Tell us. Well, uh, she had on a green dress. A green dress. I remember that. And it was... No, no, it, it was blue. I think that's important. All right, all right. No, no, it was red. Yeah. No, it was kind of greenish red and had a little blue. Well, no, no, no. Never mind about the dress. Look, yes. Describe her. Now, what was she built like? Oh, she was built like a girl. <laughs> no question about that, Skip. <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, she was brunette. Kind of tall, slender. Yeah. Uh, of course, she's kind of chubby in places. You know, I mean, you've seen them. <laughs> well, she... oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, she was, she was kind of a blonde and short. See, uh, well, from my angle, it was hard oh, to tell. Oh, no, please, come on, Chuck. Will you give us a clue? We gotta find this girl. Look, look, think. Come on, Mr. Parker, concentrate. Mr. Parker, please, really put your heart in it. Heart! Heart! That's it, she had a heart! Oh, sure, and a liver and a stomach and a pair of kidneys and all. Oh, Skip, she had a little brown heart. It was a birthmark. It was right on her right ankle. I remember. We're back to her ankle again. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you sure about this birthmark? Are you absolutely sure? I'm positive. Skip was right where I grabbed her. I... Oh, no, that isn't what it sounds like. See, I was lying. No, no, that's, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Now, at least you gave us something to go on. Ben, you skip. Lead bottom's calling us on a squawk box. Oh, oh wow. What a time for him to call. Oh, psychic us up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We gotta stall him, boys. Now, follow me. Follow my lead, huh? Hi, this is Lieutenant Commander McHale, sir. What can we do for you, Captain? Yeah, well, you can start by giving me your present position at sea and your estimated time of arrival at Teratopa. Uh, estimated time of arrival at... Uh, well, you see, sir, we haven't left Numea yet, sir, no. Uh, we'll see, we're, we're having uh, the engine trouble. That's right, engine trouble. Can you hear that, sir? All our engines in real bad shape, sir. <laughs> It worked. They fell into our trap. <laughs> and now hear this, Mikhail. Take all the time you need, but you get those engines fixed right. I don't want anything happening to the 73 while you're carrying our payroll. Take all the time you need, Mikhail. All the time you need. I'll see you when you get back. Over and out. <laughs> oh, it worked. It worked. The rats went for the cheese. Order a plane to fly us up to Nomia. With any luck, Mikhail and his brigands will be in jail by midnight. <laughs> Never could take it, Elroy. It was awful agreeable for him. You think he suspects anything, Skip? Look, who's got time to worry about that? We've got real problems, like trying to find that money. Yeah, well, sure, but how? All sure. right, all right. Stop beating your gums and start pounding the pavement. Chuck gave us a clue. Let's go out and find that gal. Skip, do you really think we have a chance? It's a cinch. Hey. Skip, that birthmark is on her ankle. This could have been embarrassing. <laughs> Excuse me, more, but the, uh, the ball, she is under the bench. How'd you do? How'd you do? Not both Mike and sight, Skip. How about you? Zilch. Nothing in three hours. Somebody chasing you? Yeah, but I think I got away. Boy, was she ever mad. I got pulled by a big freckle. Huh. Hey, well, where's your gun and gun belt? She took it. I told you she was mad. Oh, brother. <laughs> Never say die, Skipper. There's a fresh brace of fillies now. Hey, yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hey. 
Uh, darn tablecloths, you can't see their ankles. Uh, tablecloths. Relax. Mr. Houdini here will take care of everything, huh? Yeah. Pardon, ladies. I have reason to believe this table was stolen from the U.S. Navy. Uh, Permettez-moi. Now, uh, let me see. The serial number is on the legs. Made in Paris. So sorry, ladies. But as we say in America, you cannot win them all. Anyway. Hey, that looks pretty easy. I'll get the other table. Hey, hey, Chuck, no, no. Uh, pardon, ma'am. Uh, we are looking for the stolen property. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I, I just say, uh, we hope you'll, uh, you know. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, my gun. <laughs> Sir. It's just as you expected, not a sign of Commander McHale or any of his crew. Uh, and what did I tell you, Lieutenant? They've run off. They abandoned ship. They absconded with the entire base payroll. Isn't that terrible? Oh, sir, it's just awful. <laughs> well, we're going to get these highwaymen dead or alive. Let's move out. <laughs> You stop moaning, look, time is running out, so we gotta spread out now and keep looking for that gal. Now, come on, get going. Come on, Taylor. Come on. Oh, well, don't worry, Skip. Oh, I got a feeling our luck's gonna change. Well, I sure hope so, because if it doesn't... <laughs> oh, little mackerel, I'll say it's changing from bad to worse. Take a look. <laughs> What's he doing in New Caledonia? I don't know. But boy, if he spots us before we find that money, it'll really be bread and water time. <laughs> Come on, quick, let's go. Just put it down. We will pour it ourselves. Not a bad morning's work, eh, Bertrand? I think we have the very generous allies. No? To the Americans. Viva la Lin Lee, huh? <laughs> They're heading this way. Come on, Chuck. We gotta find a back way out of this joint. <laughs> hey! Haven't I met your ankle before? Sure. <laughs> yeah! Oh, no, my name's Chuck. Oh. <laughs> hey, Buster, you had no call to do that. <laughs> all right, all right, boys, all right. We don't want to cause any trouble. Easy does it. Hey, Skip, I'm on our ankle. Hey, are you sure, Chuck? Yeah, she went that way. Well, oh, come on. Hey, Chuck Binghamton. And the guy's carrying a bag. Hey, it's the payroll money. They got it. Come on, Chuck. Come on, come on. What? What are you missing? Oh, almost another ten years in the break. Quick, you hide in there. I'll meet you later. Catch him before Binghamton catches us. Look, you take the right fork and I'll take the left. Left, right. Uh, left, uh, port starboard. <laughs> and there he goes. Get him. I want that bag. Don't just stand there panting. 
Come on, stop thinking. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Oh, ma'am. Hey, did you see him, Chuck? Hey, there he goes. Shifty man in a gray suit. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. Hey, Chuck. I lost him and so did the guys. Did you see him? Well, I think he went that way. Let's go, boys. If we lose him, we're goners. Come on. If he makes a move, shoot him for a hole. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You're, you're making a mistake, Captain. The crook will get away. Get off of it. Yes. <laughs> the crook will get away. I've got the crook right here. You, all of you. All right, Lieutenant, now you're prisoners. And I'm just a second. Oh, we've got you this time, Commander. If you can't produce that payroll, we're going to press charges for grand larceny. Oh, I'll give you a shot. We Sir, you got to let us explain. You see, there's this girl with a birthmark on her leg. Oh, yeah. That's like a birthmark on her leg. All right, Mikhail, I've got you this time. There's not going to be any excuses. Nothing is going to save you. Nothing. Hey! Nip Zero coming in at 6 o'clock. Take cover, boys. Come on, get out of here. Give me orders. It's not you! Keep coming. Don't let him get away. That bandit has his trap. No way to shoot back. We're helpless. No, oh, we're not. Chuck! Chuck, get down! Chuck, no! That cannon doesn't work! Get down! Yes, it does. All you gotta do is light the fuse. See? Okay? Yes, yes, unfortunately for you and your gang of pirates, Miguel, I'm still in one piece. And if you think of that heroic stunt with that ridiculous cannon is going to do you one bit of good, just forget it. Find them up. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, Captain, I beg of you. Look, give us a break, won't you? Well, won't you please give us just a little time to find that money, sir? I owe a little time? Yes, sir. Well, never let it be said that Wallace B. Binghamton wasn't a sport. You want time? I'll give you time, Miguel. I'll give you three seconds. One, <laughs> two, three... Talk about manna from heaven, huh? Manna, my foot, that's the payroll. Chuck, those crooks must have stashed in the cannon. What's going on here? What, what, what? <laughs> There's your money, Captain. Hey, that's what, what, what? <laughs> Say, you two met? <laughs> Forty-two thousand three hundred and sixty-five. I wouldn't worry about a thing, sir. I'm sure it's all there. Well, it better be, Mikhail. So help me, every last dollar better be here. I. Forty-two thousand three hundred and sixty-six, sir. Six. Forty-two thousand three hundred and sixty-seven. <laughs> 
Sorry, sir. Skip, just want to tell you, strong wind's coming up. Uh, Parker, you stupid guy, I ought to give you a... Uh, easy does it, Captain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Come